category. To announce the nominees, may we have on stage former Chief Election Commissioner, one of India's finest bureaucrats in his times, distinguished citizen, S.Y. Qureshi. And along with him, could we also have CNN IBN senior editor, Anubha Bosu. Armstrong Palme for being a rare Indian administrative officer who helps build a 100-kilometer-long road linking Nagaland, Manipur, and Assam without government aid. Arvind K. Trival and India Against Corruption for running such a high-profile and relentless campaign against corruption that it changed the political discourse of India. Baba Adhav and Aruna Roy, Pension Parishad, for effectively and forcefully bringing the issue of old age pensions and care for the elderly on the political center stage. Comptroller and Auditor General of India for proving to be one of the most impactful watchdog agency of the government which remained consistent despite controversies. Dr. Devi Shetty for his consistent and sterling work in providing world-class and affordable health care with dignity to millions. Madhav Gargil for authoring a comprehensive report on the dangers to the Western Ghats, thereby forcing the international community to give the Ghats the tag of a World Heritage Site. Indian of the Year in the Public Service category is Dr. Devi Shetty. Dr. Devi Shetty, the Indian of the Year in the Public Service category, the man who is determined to save a billion hearts. Ladies and gentlemen, the CNN IB and Indian of the Year in the category of Public Service, Dr. Devi Shetty. Dr. Shetty, I believe uh, there is a picture in your office wall of Mother Teresa with a line that says, the hands that serve are more sacred than the lips that pray. That's right. That's what I believe. She is my first teacher. Yes. And your role model in some ways. Yes. Uh, she came to my life as a patient, but in the end I became her disciple. Dr. Shetty, is it a business today, healthcare, or do you believe that it is a public service in the truest sense? I am a heart surgeon by profession, but I have a very interesting job. My job is putting price tag on human life. You must be wondering what kind of job it is. I see about 60 to 80 children every day in my office. Most of my patients are babies on mother's lap. I examine the kid and I look at the mother and tell her that your baby has a hole in the heart, he requires an operation. She has only one question, how much it is going to cost? I tell her that it is going to cost 80,000 rupees, which she doesn't have. That is a price tag on that kid's life. This is what we doctors do from morning till evening. 65 years after the independence, if the society has given privilege to people like us to put the price tag on human life, we have failed as citizens. Someone has to do this uh, dirty job. Well, those are very strong words, uh, Dr. Devi Shetty, but you've been a remarkable example of what is possible in the field of healthcare. The CNN IB and Indian of the Year in the category of public service, Dr. Devi Shetty. Man who's redefined healthcare. Thank you very much for being with us on the stage, sir. Thank you, Anubha. And Mr. S. Y. Kureshi. It's all right, it's all right. I don't know how I feel it. Bye. some very special awards tonight, our special achievement awards for this evening. And I'd like to invite on the stage one of our guests of honors, a woman and an actor and an activist who needs no introduction, Shabana Azmi. I'd also like to have CNN Ivan's Meha Bharadwaj on the stage. And the first special achievement award tonight goes to the boxer from Manipur. 
returns to the ring after the birth of twins. Mary was determined to win an Olympic medal. She had to move upwards in her weight category and tackle those cynical voices who believed she was past her prime. Mary's achievement brought joy to an entire region that had always been on the fringe of not just Indian sport, but Indian society at large. Ladies and gentlemen, for overcoming all possible obstacles to find a place on the Olympic podium, and being an outstanding example of grit, endurance and determination. MC Mary Kong is the CNN IBM Indian of the Year for Special Achievement. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for the boxer from Manipur who boxed her way to the global stage, taking India on the world map. Ladies and gentlemen, this has to be the story of the year. A mother of two goes to the Olympics with one dream of winning a medal and comes back with a bronze. Mary, many, many congratulations. You deserve it. Um, for you, it was all about winning a medal at the Olympics. You struggled 12 years of struggle with little support. You rose above all those difficulties yeah. and you won the medal. For this country, a nation of billion people, it was much, much more. You're an inspiration, an icon, especially so for women. What does that make you feel? I don't, I can't believe. Yeah. But today, everyone, everybody know because of my hard work now, I deserve and because of your all support, without support, I cannot do anything. <laughs> it's all right, it's all right. I don't know how I feel it, but... Ladies and gentlemen, Special Achievement CNN IBN Award for 2012 to the inspirational Mary Kam who's put Manipur and India on the country's boxing map. Please give her a standing ovation. That's what she deserves for what she has achieved in 2012. MC Mary Kam, mother, boxer, inspiration to every Indian sportsman. Thank you so much for being with us this evening. Thank you, Mayor. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the second Special Achievement Award this evening. Before we announce the award, may we have on stage CNN IBN's National Bureau Chief, Bupendra Chaube. And the winner of the second Special Achievement Award tonight is... 2012 saw actor Amir Khan leverage his star power to reach out to the common man with his maiden TV show. Khan and team Satyamev Jayate brought under the spotlight burning social issues like female feticide, child abuse and honor killing, forcing the audience and the system to sit up and take notice. Ladies and gentlemen, for inspiring real and constructive change through a television show, Amir Khan and Team Satyamev Jayate is the CNN IBM Indian of the Year for Special Achievement. Ladies and gentlemen, a TV show which showed the power of an actor. May we have on stage Team Satya Mevajayate, represented by Uday Shankar, Satyajit, and Swati. Ladies and gentlemen, please give them a big hand. Uday Shankar of Star 
and Swati and Satyajit who are the brains behind Satya Meva Jayate. ڈیٹس and who shared their experiences with us and who told us their life stories. So this is the effort of so many people that has come together and uh, thank you CNN and IBN for acknowledging the effort that we put in and, and for all the encouragement. Thank you so much. What really inspired you to do a program like Satyamev Jayati? I think Satyamev Jayati was driven by a conviction that social issues, social concerns can be mainstream television. The challenge therefore before us was how do we take these issues which are viewed to be cerebral or which are viewed to be issues which only a certain convinced set of people are concerned about and take them into every single Indian home from Kashmir to Kanyakumari. Uday, is that going to be a future for the so-called GECs that, that, that you can actually create programming that is informative? and entertaining at the same time? I think it will be. You know, pure play entertainment has a very central role in entertainment television, and they'll continue to be there. But uh, we'll have to define, uh, expand the definition of entertainment, and that's what we did with Satya Meva I think that you will see that process expanding. Ladies and gentlemen, the team Satya Meva Jayate, Amir Khan and Uday Shankar, Vati and Satyajit, the team of Satya Meva Jayate, give them a very big hand, special achievement award for 2012. May we thank Shabana Azmi, Mr. Uday Shankar, Satyajit and Swati and of course uh, our National Bureau Chief Bhupendra Chaube for joining us on the stage. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we now move to the third Special Achievement Award this evening. But before we announce the award, may we have on stage uh, CNN IBN Suhasini Hader. And the third Special Achievement Award this evening goes to Desi Thomas is an unusual face in the world of defense research. Known as the Missile Woman and Agni Putri, Desi changed the perceptions of her profession with her work in the Agni program and is an inspiration to more women in choosing careers in science. Desi headed the Agni 4 team as project director and was project director mission for the Agni 5 launch. Ladies and gentlemen, for giving India what they call an instrument of peace with a deterrence value, Desi and her committed team at DRDO is our CNN IBN Indian of the Year for Special Achievement. Ladies and gentlemen, may we have on stage the rocket woman from Israel, Desi Thomas. I think you should also know it is a special day for the DRDO. Uh, Agni 1 was launched and Tessie has in fact come all the way from uh, Odisha just to be with us tonight because she had made that commitment. A round of applause. Tessie, can I ask you a politically incorrect question? Did it take time for the men in DRDO to accept that you could be leading their team? No, not at all. Science doesn't have uh, any gender, that's what I have been telling. And it's, that is the type of encouragement and motivation what we get from our uh, DRDO fraternity. Ladies and gentlemen, please give her a very big hand, the Missile Woman of India, Dr. Tessie Thomas. Tessie Thomas, our special achiever tonight. Let me also thank Suhasini Heather and Shabana Azmi. I am asking you, sir, Master Tessie Thomas, who was the only one who was the only one who was the only one. بتا دو کوئی بھی کھڑا ہو کر کے ہندوستان کر بہت درد ہوتا ہے کہ ہم آپ کے بچے نہیں ہیں
Ladies and gentlemen, we now move towards the Lifetime Achievement Award, but I would like to point out to you that amongst us today, there may be several achievers, but there's also a legendary personality sitting in this hall. The first and only Marshal of the Indian Air Force, one of the finest servicemen India has ever had. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Marshal of the Air Force, Mr. Arjun Singh, to give away the Lifetime Achievement Award. He will give away today's Lifetime Achievement Award.